58 that will in all likelihood be the final. Three seconds away, Brewer will dribble it out, and win number two is in the books. Penn State thoroughly dominates in the second half, and tonight beats Alcorn State by a final tally of 77 to 58 to start the season with a 2-0 record. Eight now, speaking of rebounding, here come the starters back in. Evans hits a three from the right to make it a one-point game. Will do so. Knight with the pick at the center line. Keeps it on the dribble. Underneath pass, slam! Chris Evans, timeout! Hopefully Kent State the rebound, wanting to push it. And in transition, holy Toledo! Evans brings them to their feet with a one-hand slam jam! Chris, was your first game in the Max Center. Uh, can you just talk about um, it was a great atmosphere, a lot more, a lot different from where I was at my freshman year, a lot more from junior college, just a lot, a better atmosphere, um, the fans really get involved, and it's just a, 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 a atmosphere that I like playing in and enjoy seeing the crowd getting involved and our bench getting involved when uh, things are going well. Can you take me through that dunk? <laughs> um, it was just a fast break dunk, um, Carson was uh, running on a um, break and I just filled the lane and he just passed me the ball and I went up. Into the right wing corner, Holt lets the three go. Spins it in and out, rebounded, put back, Pat Jackson can't hit. Gets his own rebound, spins on the elbow, back to Guyton. Pulls up, down to the baseline, green, two-hand slam! Patrick Jackson started it, Justin Green finished it. You know, any night, I think that we have a number of guys who can come off the bench and help us, for sure. Tonight, for whatever reason, I just wasn't really happy in the beginning of the game. Uh, with the starters' efforts, and especially on the glass more than anything else. So, uh, you know, I thought that the guys came in, the reserves or, or the bench guys or whatever you want to call them, came in and, and really uh, lifted us uh, a great deal and, uh, and helped turn the game in the first half because we were sort of lethargic for whatever reason. Michael Starks against... Mark Henniger, the defense by Henniger. They've almost got it away. That's a five-second call. Henniger creates the inactivity turnover, and the Flashes get the ball back. Sometimes you just need some energy, and I do think we, we got the second group came in and got two straight five-second calls, and I really think that lifted the starters, too, and they were on the bench, uh, reacted the right way, were cheering for, the, for their teammates, and then they came in and sort of continued it going. Broken up, Gaines comes away with it for the flashes. A one on three, he'll feed to Perini, flying up, Baker, good! He was fouled! Right, right hand dribble. He'll hand it off quickly to Gaines. Gaines, good crossover, foul line, down the lane, he's bumped, fires, hits! Yeah. Perini with the steal, he'll feed Gaines back to Perini. Lob, Gaines, layup and in! 72-53. Randall to the outside. Devereaux Manley triggers the three. Yes! Welcome to the Max Center. Devereaux Manley. The baseline backing in and spinning against Holt is Rimmer. Knocked away. Perini has the loose ball for Kent State. Michael across the center line into the front court. At the head of the key. Dishes down low. Back to green. Double team comes. Pivots and spins and somehow hits. There's going to be nights that Mike Perini's in foul trouble and we're going to have to extend the lead without Mike or play without him. But if you're going to ask me would I rather see Justin in foul trouble or not, the answer is I'd rather see him not. But you know what? Uh, we did a great job without him tonight. Another guy stepped up. And, uh, and again, the one thing about our team is that it's a team. It's not this guy, this guy, this guy. So, um, you know, guy stepped up when, when he was out.